Hey YouTube, it's Brian here, and uh, what you're seeing here is uh, some picks I've used, or um, there's two used ones and two um, new ones that I just um, have out. Um, these are the picks I use, uh, Dunlop Tortex. Um, I actually just got off the phone with Dunlop, uh, getting some information from them about the Tortex picks. Um, this is mainly what I use, a... 88 millimeter uh, Dunlop Tortex pitch black. Um, I also use the Tortex 88 millimeter uh, regular, the green one. Um, and here, uh, here's two picks: uh, pitch black and a regular green Tortex. Uh, both of them played these picks both the same amount of time, so they have the same amount of wear. It's just the logo on the pitch black one. Um, lasts a little bit longer or something, I guess, but I don't know if you could see this, but yeah, um, this one here is pretty wore down. I mean, I, I play metal, so <laughs> it's a lot of uh, fast, uh, heavy picking, a lot of alternate picking, and, and so, um, it wear down after a few months, um, might not be able to see it quite as good in pitch black, but there's definitely some wear on there, um. Yeah, um, these are, Dunlop, you know, makes a lot of different accessories for guitar. Um, picks, capo slides, strings, um, uh, various different kinds of pedals, um, and what have you. And, uh, one of the most popular products is their picks. Um, I talked to them on, the, when I just talked to them on the phone, uh, they told me that's the, you know, picks make make up a majority of their sales, whether it be, you know, retail stores, um, people order them from online sites like uh, Musician's Friend, um, American Musical Supply, or whatever. And the Tortex is their most popular pick. <laughs> um, you know, they have different types, but uh, the Tortex is the most popular. Um, when I started playing, I went to a music store. And I got my first guitar, knowing I needed to pick. And the sales clerk at my local music store in my hometown um, opened up a pick tray and was like, um, well, just here's the Dunlop picks. They're the, they have the most different types of sizes of any other picks. Um, and, uh, you know, they're, they're relatively cheap. He's like, you know, these picks are about at the time maybe like 70 75 cent a piece for one pick um i grabbed one of each color you know green yellow blue uh orange red and i discovered this is the one i like the best specifically on electric guitar i won't use this one on acoustic on the acoustic i like the orange or the yellow i don't remember the sizes for those but when i the rare times when i do play acoustic i prefer the orange or yellow tortex and then um few years ago, um, back in 2005, 2006, around that time, I was living in San Diego, California, I was, uh, I was in a band, and it was one Saturday, uh, I was going to rehearsal, before I left my home, I noticed most of my picks were worn down from the months we were rehearsing, uh, we were, you know, playing some clubs or whatever, um, or pre band practice or whatever, and... So I was like, oh, there's a music store on the way to my my friend's house, who is the rhythm guitarist and singer, where we practiced and rehearsed at. And um, I uh, went to a music store on, on the way there. Um, and they didn't have no 88 millimeter Tortex. They were sold out. They only had pitch black. Um, and that's what I've been using since. Um, I still keep the green ones around in case I run out of pitch, in case I run out of picks. I you know, guitar picks, you know, a lot of times you lose the damn things, um, they wear down or whatever. So I keep both around because um, they're the same gauge. And I, for the longest time, I thought maybe the pitch black was made out of a different material, but I just talked with Dunlop. On the phone, they said, nope, same material. They said there may be variances here and there from the machine that uh, produces them. Like, you know, I may get one batch of pitch blacks, 
that's actually an 89 millimeter and one batch of the regular Tortec standard that's an actual 88 millimeter and that, that that's really it they said materials are the same uh, they said as far as they know the the color doesn't make a difference in the tone um, and you can feel them they are the same materials um, I noticed one thing that on the Tortec standards the logo is painted on in black and you can't really feel it. It's like it's printed on there or something or whatever. But on the pitch black, it's got this silver logo. And it's raised a little bit. The um, logo is actually raised. And where's my hand? So since the logo is raised, I can grip it a little better. Maybe that's why I like the pitch black more. And that's my personal preference. With that raised logo, I can get my thumb on there and grip it. And, um, my hands don't sweat a lot I when I play. I know that happens to some people, but it doesn't for me, so I don't, I don't, my hands don't get sweaty and I don't drop the pick. Um, but yeah, um, Dunlop offers many other, many different kinds of picks in various shapes, sizes, gauges, um, so if you're, you're new to do guitar playing, uh, check out Dunlop Picks, um. Or if you've been playing for a while and you're thinking, oh, I want to change something about my playing, try a new, new gauge pick. Now, myself, I'm comfortable with the 88mm uh, Dunlop Tortex. I've tried other ones. Um, a few years ago, there's this big thing in, um, among metal guitar players. Again, I'm a heavy metal guitar player. That's why I like to play. Um, about the Dunlop Jazz 3, you know. John Petrucci had did some kind of interview in, in a magazine or, or something like that. And they asked him what kind of picks he uses. He said the Dunlop Jazz 3. And I didn't think nothing of it. I was like, I'm sticking with my Tortex 88mm. <laughs> um, and uh, then like a bunch of bands started using the Jazz 3. Like the guys from Trivium. Um, I think Alexi from Children of Bodom. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um... Five Finger Duff Punch, a bunch of other metal guitarists. I was like, well, let me try something different. So I went to a music store, bought one Jazz 3 pick, played it for like maybe five, ten minutes, then throw it away. I didn't like it. <laughs> it the Jazz 3 does give you some good articulation and control when you're doing fast lead playing. But I do rhythm and lead, so I need a pick. That's kind of a little bit wider, not as sharp, where I can do good, fast, heavy rhythms, and do some lead stuff too. So for me, a perfect balance is the Tortex standard 88mm, and my preference is the pitch black one. It's black, so it's more metal. Brah! You know, a little heavy metal humor there. Well, anyway, hope this uh, was somewhat informative to you. Um, check out my other videos if you like them. Hit the like button. Have any comments or questions, just write them in the comments section. And until next time, rock on.